Welcome to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce and Chamber Exchange. The TV show is an opportunity for us to uh, have conversations with our guests about important issues regarding jobs and companies and economic development uh, here in central Massachusetts. Uh, also want to thank our sponsor, Bank Hometown, who helps make Chamber Exchange, the TV show, happen. Very happy to have with us in our first segment uh, someone who is not necessarily a stranger to this show over the years, but uh, Richard Burke, who's the president and CEO of Fallon Health. Richard, welcome. It's great to be back, Tim. Well, uh, Richard, as CEO uh, at Fallon Health, you're kind of an important uh, time frame right now uh, as the company has pivoted to kind of working on the, in the Medicare, Medicaid space, uh, uh, working at this with state and, and federal officials. You're kind of in an open enrollment right now. That's right. So we are focused on Medicare and Medicaid at Fallon Health, and this is an important open enrollment period. I think many of your viewers probably are seeing the commercials on TV right now. And right now is Medicare open enrollment, and it lasts through December 7th. So it's an important time for individuals who are 65 or older or who are helping a loved one or a neighbor who is 65 or older. So I would incur certainly encourage your viewers who are in that category to look at their options. And at Fallon Health, we have a number of options, and we can be helpful in making those choices. Uh, and, and because of Fallon Health's kind of expertise in that space, you know, the company a few years ago kind of made a strategic decision that in addition to you know, providing Medicare, Med uh, Medicaid you know, products and programs and on the providing you know, private insurance to companies, you said, look, we're going to focus on what we think we do best, uh, and that is, is this space. So if people are out there, they, you know, they, they can get uh, look at Fallon Health with a company that has a track record and a history of kind of success in this in this area. Yes, that's that's right, Tim. We we were the first Medicare health plan in the country back to 1980. But a few years ago, as the marketplace changed, we decided we were going to work and focus on our strength areas, which is Medicare and Medicare, and programs for individuals who are eligible for both mm -hmm. Medicare and Medicaid. So this is an important time, as, as we said before, for, in particular for Medicare and making those choices. And we have, we have in-house experts, we work with brokers who are very skilled, and if, if your listeners went to FallonHealth.org, they could find a lot of information as well as a phone number and you know one of the great benefits of Fallon Health is that we're local right. and if you live here you will speak to somebody who also most likely lives here as well and can help you make good choices. Yeah and we're going to talk uh, at, at the end of the segment a little bit about uh, mm -hmm. an important decision that the company made uh, as it relates to uh, staying local and, and, yeah. and having a significant presence of jobs here but uh, there are some specific kind of products in the space that, that if someone's making a decision in terms of enrollment for Medicare right now, there are certain products that, that you have that people can look at? That's right. So we have uh, the traditional Medicare Advantage plans, and we have a variety of options at a variety of different price points, including a zero premium plan. And those plans um, are for anybody 65 and older, and you can, in choosing those plans, you can choose different benefits, different networks, and they're, you know, one of the great advantages of Medicare Advantage, and we call ours uh, Medicare Plus, yep. um, you can um, get extra benefits. And we have a benefit bank with, uh, depending on the plan you choose, has either $250 up to $1,000, which you can use uh, for dental, eyewear, certain health care products. So those are, those are wonderful products, good choices, and uh, you can t you can make a choice that's really tailored to your needs. Right, right. And so again, people can call, go online, uh, really kind of look at the, right. these products and what works best for them. That's right. Um, and uh, you talk about uh, those programs, uh, and, and, and we're gaining population here in the area. Uh, it's National Family Caregiver Month. That's right. So, uh, one in five individuals is a caregiver. And so there's a really good chance that uh, many of your viewers are also caregivers. Many of them are raising their children and taking care of an aging parent or an aging neighbor. And so Fallon Health has a number of programs that are designed to help caregivers. We certainly have, um, we have uh, caregiver support groups which are open to the public and those are sponsored 
by our program Summit Elder Care. Mm -hmm. We have a caregiver blog on our website which has useful information and then we have programs. So Summit Elder Care is our program for individuals who are frail elders, could qualify to be in a nursing home, but the program provides support so that you can age at home mm -hmm. in the place where everyone wants to be. So that's a very wonderful program. It exists across Massachusetts, but here in central Massachusetts, we have uh, a very robust program. And it's again, it's called Summit Elder Care. You can go to the Fallon website and learn more about it. And the growth of that program that, that you've seen, which has been pretty robust, is yeah. kind of underscores that need. Yeah, it does underscore the need. There's no question. I mean, with the number, I mean, people are living longer, which is a wonderful thing. Yeah. But uh, with that comes additional needs and support. So that program is, is a great benefit to the community. We also have a program we call Navicare, which is uh, for those who are eligible for Medicare and Medicaid, and also provides many of those supports that caregivers often uh, provide for their loved ones, such as transportation. Right. So that program provides transportation, not just to medical appointments, but to um, social uh, appointments, you know, the church, the synagogue, the grocery store. So those programs are designed to help seniors and their loved ones support them. And legit determinants of health outcomes or well-being. Absolutely. The social determinants of health have played such a role in helping somebody to um, maintain their health and to age in place. Right, right. So uh, you talked about, you know, that these are all very important decisions that an individual or families mm -hmm. make regarding health care, the various options they may, may be able to take advantage yeah. of, uh, the programs they may participate in, and having uh, the ability to talk with somebody face to face or in person uh, that's familiar with the region, the programs, kind of the, the logistics, it, it is a difference maker. And in that spirit, uh, Fallon just made a decision to, to, to recommit to downtown Worcester with a, uh, a new lease coming up. You want to talk a little bit about sure. that? And, and yeah. how many people are employed here locally? So, well, Fallon uh, overall employs uh, 1,300 people, uh, predominantly in central Massachusetts, although we are statewide and we have an operation in western New York. But we're predominantly employ individuals in central Massachusetts. So with um, uh, an upcoming change, the need to uh, reevaluate our lease, we made the decision to move our headquarters to uh, One Mercantile, which is uh, in downtown right. Worcester, and it, it really fills a need. It's a modern building. Um, it's, um, it has all the amenities that our employees are looking for. And we think it's, uh, and it's a, another way of just demonstrating a commitment to uh, the city where we were founded and, and that we call home. So we're very excited about that. That move will begin in earnest next year and uh, really excited about continuing to be uh, called downtown Worcester Fallon Health's home. Well, uh, I think everybody was, was pleased to hear that that commitment's going to stay uh, in the downtown and that presence and what it means for downtown businesses and shops and, and, and restaurants and coffee shops, et cetera, but also signals that mm -hmm. there's a commitment to the area and, and those work, your, your employees yeah. having uh, those facilities that they deserve. A time of transition with a potential move, but also uh, after a number of years and very important roles and as CEO at Fallon, uh, you uh, uh, have let, let people know and there's, that you're going to be uh, uh, stepping down after uh, eight plus years yep, uh, eight as years. the as the CEO and, and with the company you want to first thank you for your for your role because as CEO you've been a leader on so many fronts including your involvement with the chamber I'm sure that'll continue uh, in, in, in some other capacity but uh, thank you for that and and uh, what's it feel like to, to go out with uh, some of these important decisions behind you and the company yeah. On the right direction. Yeah, it's a it's a new chapter, and it's been a privilege to work at Fallon for 25 years, and as you said, be the CEO for the past eight. It's a great company with a great mission, and um, and uh, I'll I'll miss the people I work with, and and um, hopefully I can stay involved in the chamber because I think the chamber has um, you've not only transformed the chamber, but the chamber has been instrumental in the transformation of Worcester. And, um, you know, when people look back on the history of Worcester in this chapter, um, they're going to uh, uh, invariably highlight your role, Tim, and the role of the chamber in changing the face of Worcester.
These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.